isa rin tong recipe na maraming versions ang tao. Ito ang aming version. <gasps> Look at that! All the flavors are gonna come out. Look, yung taba, malambot. Okay, I'm happy, I'm happy. We're getting there. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Again, thank you again to all of my new subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please don't forget to subscribe now. Also, don't forget to like and share, especially our cooking vlogs. And also, click on the notification button so that you will be notified each time we have a new vlog. Especially those ating mga cooking vlogs. So again, I'm saying hello and we are doing something that I have actually been wanting to share with you. So today, I'm still very nostalgic or still into the holidays na para the family get-togethers and all of that. But what I want to share with all of you is a family tradition na comfort food namin. For others, they call it fabada. But in our family, pag sinabi mong Sunday, ang pagkain ay pata beans, alam na namin na it's going to be a very easy Sunday. It's going to be inihaw na yempo, pata beans, at saka inihaw na talong. I've been wanting to share this, but I've been also wanting to cook it sa River Garden Rest House. But since hindi namin magawa-gawa, so share ko na kayo how you want to do it for your Sunday lunches. So our recipe and our ingredients, it's really very easy. Not intimidating as you might think. First, because it's pata beans, pata. <laughs> Alam mo yung family namin, ano to yung pork lovers. So we have pata, and then we have white beans that ideally, for others, they soak it overnight. Pero according to my sister na Connie, as ka na-try ko rin to, na Kanina umaga ko lang siya binabad. Minsan kasi pag sobra ng overnight rin, nagiging masyadong, pag nagpapalambot tayo ng tata, masyado siyang lumalambot tapos hindi na maganda. Hindi siya firm lumalabas. And then we have tomato paste, garlic, and the very, very <laughs> special participation of onions. And then meron din tayo chorizo. Ito chorizo bilbao. For others, kahit anong klaseng good ang chorizo ninyo na mabibili. Pero ako chorizo bilbao. Bay leaf, peppercorn, of course, salt, pepper, sugar if you need to use it. And of course, special toy. Basta talaga, basta naman niluluto ko. Donya and Anna. Today, I will use extra virgin oil. I will show you why. Because we need special flavor, we need all the goodness and all the nutrients that we are going to get from our Doña Elena. Alam mo, natutuwa ako ha. Nagpapainit na ako ng tubig, nagpapakulo. Natutuwa ako kasi yung mga subscribers ko, mga nanonood ng vlog, na ginagaya yung recipes ko, or yung ginagaya, pero yung they also cook it in their homes. Doña Elena rin daw ang kanilang ginagamit na olive oil. Ayan. Okay, kumukulo na yung tubig, papasok ko na yung pat. Ang ginawa ko para mas mabilis, naglagay na ako ng kumukulong water dun sa ating kumukulong tubig. Walagay <laughs> na natin yung ating pata. Isa rin tong recipe na maraming versions ang tao. Ito ang aming version. Okay, maglalagay ako ng peppercorn. Then I will put bay leaf. And then, maglalagay ako ng onions. Ang liit ng onions natin. Super naawa ako. I'm going to slice it in half. Para may lasa. Isasabay na natin ang palambot. Nadrain ko na rin siya. Pinadahan-dahan ko nga. Mainit kasi yung tubig. Alright. Let's boil it. Papalambotin natin yung pata and the beans. Halfway through, I'm going to put the sauce para maging yung tomato sauce mo, okay? So, we are actually lumalambot na siya, pero nilipat ko siya. 
Lilipat ko siya dyan, okay? Tutuloy natin pagpapalambot. But while we're doing that, I'm going to make the sauce. Para later, papasok natin yung doon. We're gonna use our uh, Donna Elena extra virgin oil for this recipe. Even after nakuna siya, I'm still gonna use it. So, ito parang isang sachet ito. Tomato paste. Alalag mo yun natin. I'm going to put some garlic. Ito ba? Four cloves of garlic. Yan. Kasi ito yung maglalagay ng color sa ating tomato. Okay, then I will put this. Ito ha, nagpapalambot pa rin tayo ngayon. We're just going to add the flavor of the garlic. And then I'm going to put... Iiwan ko na siya pagkatapos ko itong gawin. Halfway through sa pagpapalambot ko, isasama ko na siya para maglasa na yung tomato paste sa ating pata. Ano mo? Dadagdag ko na aking chorizo bilbao para yung maglasa na rin siya. And I will pour this later on there. Sasama na siya sa pagpapalambot. It's just as simple as that. <gasps> Look at that. Mabuno na siya. So, all the flavors are gonna come out. We have a kumukulong na siya. Hihinaan na natin ang fire. It's not as hard. So, I'm going to put in some of this tomato sauce. Ha? Yay! Sorry, I need help. Mabigat. Alright. Thank you very, very much. Okay. So, magiging ganito na yung itsura niya. Para doon na mag-infuse na yung lasa ng tomatoes sa ating hand. We will close this again and we will wait. Magandang bag ang kanyang papa. And pag mamaya makita nyo na medyo paubos na yung kanyang, yung parang nag-reduce, you can add water again. So after about an hour, <gasps> ganda. We're just going to, ang natin na hindi masunog yung beans. Stir, stir it very carefully. Kumbawa na nyo. You can smell it. Okay pa yung liquid niya eh, kaya ayaw ko siyang dagdagan. Okay pa yung sauce. Gusto lang natin talaga is lumambot yung pata na sobrang lambot na pwede na siyang maghiwalay. We'll try it. And getting there, no? Madali-dali. Look, yung taba, malambot! Okay, I'm happy, I'm happy. We're getting there. So as people ask me, masyado daw walang patong patong yung aking kitchen. They're all here kasi, ayan, see, andito siya lahat. Ito yung aking tasting ng mga spoon and food. So it's all here, so hindi ko na siya talaga kailangan ng kung ano-anong patong patong. That's just like a snake. Grabe, alam mo, amoy pa lang niya. It's really comfort food at its finest. Yes, yes, yes. Pero magdadagdag tayo ng margarine with the salt. And then we're gonna put pepper. Okay, this new pepper ko, lagay ng aking pepper, is a gift. Thank you so much from Kennedy Kitchen. They know how to make me happy. Okay, konting-konti na lang, okay? Magpapalampot pa tayo. Okay, I promise you, this is so good. Proper timpla. Actually, yung pata ko, hindi na lang, alam mo, honestly. We're just waiting for the beans to soften up. Okay? Ta-da! Let's check. Super soft. Ayan. Very good. Okay, kailangan lang i-watch. Pag nag-reduce ang kanyang sauce, pwede niyong dagdagan. Pero first, itikman ko muna. Ito, masarap. Ano ba dapat ibang tuwi lang? Kasi tingnan ko sa katikim ko. Ano na siya? Na-immune na ako. Vince, let me try it. Yes, kailangan ibang tuwikim. Hindi pwede ako pa natin. Do I put salt, pepper, or a little sugar? Kata salt. More salt. Sabi ko sa inyo, kailangan ibang tuwikim. Kasi, papakita ko yung style ko sa inyo. When I eat this, This is also how my dad eats this. So, pag may pata beans, alam nila, or kahit mungo, we eat it with white, white rice. And then, naglalagay kami ng rock salt sa bawat sugo namin. Parang that's our thing. I don't know why. Ganun kami ng daddy ko. 
nakuha ko sa daddy ko yun. So may rock salt kami na nilalagay while eating this. Pinapatong namin. Nasabi ko, baka yung alatan masyado. Pwede rin kasi if it's too acidic to put, like if it's like, ano, konting sugar to give it a nice blend. Better? Better. So no more sugar. Oh my goodness. It's better. Sarap. Masarap rin to sa garlic bread with a little butter and of course garlic, syempre. And then sprinkle with extra virgin oil because you dip it. This is a sure winner. And definitely, kami lang naman ang naglalimpo at kung ano-ano on the side. But this is really a complete meal. You have the pata, you have the chorizo. If you want, you get the good kind of chorizo. And then, completo na siya. Yes! Okay, so here we are. We are going to start plating this. So this is our newly baked garlic bread. And of course, pasasarapin pa natin with our Doña Elena extra virgin oil. Okay, so here is our pata beans. I'm going to be plating it. Actually, gusto ko siyang iiwan dito pero baka hindi niyo makita. Pero again, kung malaki ang inyong family, just keep it in the big caldero. Tignan mo, nagbe-break na yung pata sa sobrang lambot. Lovely. And for those who are wondering, hindi siya katulad ng pork and beans na matamis. This is not matamis. This is super tasty. Okay, I will choose the part because I am bad like that. Malambot, napalambot ko ang pata. <laughs> impressed, impressed, oh friend ko. Don't forget your Doña Elena extra virgin oil because this is the part that is going to make it really good. I have two options: either to eat it with bread or friend Ano mas masarap? Rice, rice, <laughs> rice, rice, rice. rice. Topped with olive oil goodness. Hmm. Man, you're gonna love this. I hope you're hungry. Sarap with red wine. <laughs> Talagang iningit ko kayo. This is my lunch. Hmm. Rep, lunch. Another style garlic bread. Look at that. Mmm, mas masarap pa. Bread, garlic, olive oil, beans. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Last. <laughs> Guys, I'm so sorry. Hinintay ko to. It's 3 o'clock. We haven't had lunch. This is really a perfect comfort food meal. That's been a tradition in the Barretta home. And so I hope that you could do this at home and know why it's really, really one of our favorites. So thank you again for joining me today in this vlog. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And I'll see you again next week. Bye!